Hi, welcome to 7 Fact. If you like geography or history, this place is for you. There are hundreds of videos on this channel about this world's countries and states, plus history subjects, so please, do subscribe. Nagaland is a small Indian state located in the northeastern part of the country. It's about the size of Moldova in Europe, but with only about half the population. In fact, it was the only Indian state that saw a slight decrease in the population, although that's probably due to a miscount at the previous census. The state has experienced insurgency as well as inter-ethnic conflict ever since Indian independence. First, the violence was for political reasons, as Naga leaders demanded more autonomy, so a union territory was formed that in 1963 became a full-fledged state. But even after 1963, violence still occurred, mostly due to tribal rivalries and personal vendetta. The violence and insecurity have of course limited Nagaland's economic development, although the last decades have been much more peaceful. We've all seen those videos on YouTube where people eat some of the hottest peppers around. Well, one of those peppers comes from Nagaland. It's called Bud Jolokia, but the world knows it as the ghost pepper. For a while, this was the hottest pepper on the planet, about 400 times hotter than Tabasco sauce, and rated at more than 1 million Scoville heat units. That's an incredibly spicy pepper. So spicy, in fact, that the military actually uses it in smoke bombs and hand grenades as a non-lethal but very painful weapon. One of World War II's fiercest battles took place in Kohima, the state's capital city. In 1944, during World War II, the Battle of Kohima, along with the simultaneous Battle of Impal, was the turning point in the Burma campaign. For the first time in Southeast Asia, the Japanese lost the initiative to the Allies, which they then retained until the end of the war. The Battle of the Tennis Court took place where the Deputy Commissioner's bungalow and tennis court was situated, and it lasted for more than a month. During this month, over 10,000 soldiers from both sides died or suffered injury on this field. This hand-to-hand -hand battle and slaughter prevented the Japanese from gaining a high base from which they could have rolled across the rest of India. Nagaland is one of the three states of India that are predominantly Christian. 88% of the people are followers of Christ and are mostly Baptists. In fact, they are known to be the only predominantly Baptist state in the world, with three quarters of Christians belonging to this denomination. While there's unity in Nagaland through faith, the same cannot be said about language. 23 different major languages are spoken here, aside from English and not counting dialects. Ao and Konyak are the most widely spread languages, each being spoken by only 12 to 13 percent of the people. Nagaland enjoys a high degree of autonomy relative to other Indian states. Naga tribes have special powers and autonomy to conduct their own affairs. Each tribe has a hierarchy of councils at the village, range and tribal levels dealing with local disputes. And the land is not owned by the central government, but by the local tribes in an effort to uphold and protect the local customs. In the city of Dimapur, the largest in the state, there lies a set of interesting ruins, the Kachari ruins. Their history dates back to the 10th century, when they appeared during the Dimasa Kachari kingdom. The ruins are a set of mushroom-domed pillars, but the origin and purpose are largely unknown. Unfortunately, they've been completely neglected for decades and are in a state of decay. Hopefully, though, the government will intervene before this valuable piece of history will be completely lost. Because there are so many tribes and different cultures in such a small area, conflicts can easily appear between communities, and they actually have. One of the measures taken to prevent this is through a festival. The Hornbill Festival is one of India's most popular cultural festivals, where one can get acquainted with the local culture, food and music. 
The whole idea is to encourage intertribal interaction and to promote cultural heritage of Nagaland. The result is an incredibly colorful and vibrant celebration that displays the very best Nagaland has to offer. These were 7 facts about Nagaland. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave your comments downstairs and do check me out on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to support me, consider becoming a patron. You'll find the link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.